This video, this little movie is a little bit of everything, you guys. So hopefully you can just track with me, but I want to say God bless you. Enjoy it. We love you. My next video will be of um, my daughter and granddaughters coming and us going and floating in the water with the dogs. It was so much fun for Juliet's birthday. But enjoy this one, little montage of just everything, a little bit of everything. All right, bless you. So we just took the barn door off right there. I'm brushing my teeth, it's horrible. This is kind of dark in here because the sun gets way too hot. Here's the barn door. Ooh, and we're gonna put the barn door up there to close that off, right? Right on. Right on, right arm. <laughs> We have to stain. Do we have any stain left at all? I even, think so. Even if we had enough to do one side before we hung it all up. I'll check. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to do that side of the yeah. paint. Yeah. Actually, it probably look better not to because then it would match the inside of our house. Yeah. Although weather-wise, it'd be good because then it it's going to be outside, and then the elements it wouldn't get all weathered. And... I haven't seen any of the kitties for a month. Cause we, I think somebody just I think somebody moved them, either mm. moved them or got rid of them. There were two or three different people making comments about mm. them, especially the skinny little pregnant one. Anyway. Well, I saw one, Blackie, but you were gone, and I was doing something, and then he was gone. So he probably went to where his well, other there food was also is. Also, another Blackie. I know. From over there, mm -hmm. and I, I don't think it was one of those babies that we were. Maybe not. Anyways, so you're going to work on that. I'm going to work on Juliet's bed. Okay, and I'm going to, this will be easy. I'm just going to cut whatever I need to cut off here so it'll fit there. And I need to look at placement before I start drilling holes. Okay. And from, from the top of the <laughs> pulleys, it's 89 inches. But I think we might need more than 89 inches. To roll it? To go over it. You know? Right. Yeah, you have to allow for the roller to roll on that. Yeah, so, so it can't be that high. It has to. Put it like right about there. All right. Let's go from the top of the wheels down to the bottom of the door like it is now. It's 89 inches. But we want some room to grow. We can put it right here if we want. And then I'll just cut the bottom piece of wood where it'll still roll and everything. Isn't that about right? I have an idea. Yeah. Look, at, look at this. Just unscrew this and take this one thing off. Unscrew it, take it off. And then on this side, the same thing, unscrew it. And then it's only this tall, which is probably exactly enough. And you can move this up for stability. So just take these and move them up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, and that's it. That's yours. There you got it, right there, without well, cutting anything. I might still have to cut. Can you get this to the end? On top of the pulley. Don't bend it. Hold on. Just hold it where it's even. Doesn't have to be bent or anything. You're bending it. No, do it sideways. I'm not. A little tape measure toward. There you go. So that would make it 86 and a half, almost 87 inches. Perfect. Now, let me look at what 87 inches is. <clears throat> 87. Still up here. Yeah, that's great. We want it up. Is that about where that's we That's the top of the wheels. Yeah. So that's the top of the wheels. That's perfect. And that be underneath the, yeah. the supports. And that's the top of the wheels. So it gives it room to roll and everything. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can bend over though, like that. Bend over. Okay, don't worry about it. The bending over is no, the no, hard part. No, no, don't do anything, though. What is that? Is that, how big is that? Ooh. If you can just I can... somehow hold yeah. that, there you go. And I'm gonna put another bolt in, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I can hold this. But then lifting up like this doesn't hurt as much as bending over, so. 
I don't know if I have it level. Oh, this is what I had to look at. Right. Well, you get a level. Okay, down you quarter need your inch. level. Down. Hold that bar, push it in, don't let it be so move it in. So there's a couple pink colors, like here's some of the colors, like this kind of pink. There's different pinks in this blanket for Julieta. This one could work, and I don't mind if it's like a couple subtle pinks that are close together, because I mean, I need one that's a brighter, this color too. So if I actually would like to do most of it like this, and this just back up, but so. This trip here is a no-go. Now we're going to look for spray paint. See if they still have it. If they do, once again, then I'm not going to Home Depot, which I would love to not go to Home Depot. Okay, let's see. We have paint. Oh yeah, but I don't want to pay some of these prices. I don't know what the price, okay, here we go. Here we go, I'm all about a sell. I'm all about a sell. Seven and five, I would much. Okay, there's paint with primer, matte eggplant, glacier, paint and primer, white, semi-gloss, that's exactly what I want. I'm getting one, two, three of those. <laughs> God, it's so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need you. I cannot believe I found this. a massive thunder lightning storm it's crazy like I had my ear pods on watching a movie this is so loud I had to come out and video it <laughs> oops just a little crazy Let's see if we can hear some more Anyways, I just really had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> there you go. 
fishing away. <laughs> Waving. Yeah, hopefully you're gonna catch some fish. I can hear boats in the background. You can hear all the boats, it's so fun. Okay, I'm trying to finish Julieta's bed that she wanted a wrought iron bed and we found this one with wood and wrought iron and it was such a great prize, but she wanted white. Well, guess what? It's gonna be white. It's so pretty. Her birthday is coming this next week. So, I gotta finish this. As promised, she will have a white bed, no longer black. I'll post both. I think I have it with the dark and now I'll have the light. I'm gonna have to probably get more spray paint. I was hoping I wouldn't, but I might. For the bottom part, there's a whole bottom rack, which I don't know that that would even show, but I just want to. Look at that. So pretty. Oops, see, I just made a drip, darn it. Hey guys, look at, I learned to make granny squares and I'm making Gabby a shirt. First bucket hat. This one will be Bob's. It was the very first one I ever made. It's a little, you know, wavy, but some of them started to become wavy and I tore them out and redid them. Okay, so here's the green one. You guys, look at this. Okay, so. I have the other video where I was starting it. I'm now to this part right here. It's that big. It's gonna be my bag that goes on the boat that carries the bucket hats. This part will attach to the, the middle part of the blanket. Well, it will become the sides, basically. This, yeah, I have to sew all that on. Okay. So I saw this on Timu and the deal was so good, I couldn't pass it up because we're getting ready to build a pergola outside. Um, and I saw these like sheer curtain things, panels to put around three sides. And then I saw lights and I literally got them all. I think it was like for $28. Now we'll see <laughs> if it's $28 well spent or if you get what you paid for. I mean, I'm not looking for like the highest quality, but I am still, you know, it was a deal and I wanna make sure I got a deal. So let's, to open this without destroying anything and it just came in it took about less than a week okay i'm excited to see it okay there's one bag all right i get it i get it here are the panels I ordered dark gray because our house is black, so it's like an off black. 
So let's do this first. These are the light bulbs, and I needed enough to go either around the top or the, yeah, just like crisscross around the top. Um, and then I'm also gonna put like um, tin on the top so that um, it'll have a slope and it'll just run off. But this should really help with our electricity bill. These are solar lights. I can't even believe I got all these for this price. This is so cheap. I wish I knew the price. I, anyways, the whole thing, again, this, which was something like 50 feet or 60 feet. I mean, I couldn't get it at Ross that cheap. And that's usually where I would look for something like this. And I wanted plastic bulbs, not glass, because I break them. So here we go. Here's the solar panel. And I mean, it is in direct sunlight. So it will be right there. Okay, this looks great. What I'll do is I'll unplug them, not right now, that I'll just, cause we're not ready to even build. We're not, oh, and two extra bulbs. We're not ready to build at all. So when I do, I'll let you know. It's kind of fun. You can hear the boats out on the water, which I love so much, but okay. Here's what we did finally. Now, the reason we did this, if you don't know, is our dog stares out the sliding glass door and literally freaks out with every cat, bear, skunk, dog, human, and she's like gonna break the door down. We've thought of a lot of ideas. Finally, this was in our living room and it was when we first, moved in here and we needed a bedroom for our grandchildren who had moved in with us, my daughter and grandchildren. So we um, built a wall and put this on it. Why isn't that working? Okay, anyways, so this was, Bob had this great idea. He's like, why don't we just take this door and put it out here? Cause then we could put the film all on this side. Plus it's so odd having one slider two sliders and the front door over there so we did it let me let's see what it looks like from back here now like the patio is not all or the deck's not all set up nice but i mean it looks better it'd be great if we had another barn door right there and i think eventually we might do that where it slides all the way and covers the whole thing because we can open it from the inside or the outside but we originally thought we would change a door and we can't do that, like change the whole door out. It's so expensive to do it. This way seems to be a decent solution. So that's what we're doing. But I'm so excited. We're getting ready to start the pergola. So the pergola obviously will come out right there. And then we'll have the lights and I bought the little curtains. So just so it's like a nicer, um, little deck area. I mean, it's a beautiful deck. The guy who built this deck did a great job. Oh my gosh, there's spider webs. I don't like them. So yeah, there's a lot I didn't finish. Look at this. I never finished this. I still gotta do it. And you can tell down below. And this is a double pane, and so I can't even get all this water humidity inside. Lots of things that need to be finished on this house that we did just, and did enough just to move in. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever showed this. So when we moved in, there was so much um, rain damage, leaking in the um, roof through the ceiling. So they put a new roof on and we picked it and we just picked brown. Well, this roof, the whole roof was white prior to that. So, they weren't gonna redo this roof because it was it was still good. So they did up here and it's brown. What we did, I don't know if you can see it, just the tip on that side over there, we painted it. I researched how to paint it. It's identical to the roof ceiling up here, roof up here. And it's, it's literally went through all the elements and no issues whatsoever. So we still have to paint that 
but you, nobody can see it. Nobody even knows it's there, us. Bob's getting ready to finish this, the gable, and start the pergola. I'm so excited. And then you guys, oh my gosh, another miracle. We sold the Toyota two nights ago, and the next day we bought, and it's an old truck, the exact same year as a Toyota. <laughs> cost a little bit more but it will pull our little fishing boat so hey i'm happy bob's happy it's a manual which he wanted i mean it's definitely not like a beauty by no means but you know what it will do the job and gas mileage will be great which is what we really need living where we live so all right bless you